Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. I am Abhishek Parmar and in this video we are going to solve Infosys pseudocode which were asked on 1st October 2020. But before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update. So our first question is, what will be the output of the following pseudocode? So there is a 3 line pseudocode and in the first line as you can see, we have an integer array. So let's take an array first. So suppose you are having this array and this array has 5 indexes from 0 to 4 and the values are 3, 7, 18, 9 and 5. Now after this in the second line as you can see we have a variable result. Now the value of result is plus plus of array of 3. That means first of all we will have to identify the third index value of this array. So in the third index as you can see the value is 9. But before initializing result with this value First of all, as we can see, we have two plus plus sign, which means pre-increment. So before initializing result with this value, we will have to increment array of 3 by 1. So if we increment array of 3, which is 9 by 1, so we will get 10. So the value of array of 3 will become 10. And with this, result will hold value 10. So after this, in the third line, we will have to display the value of result. So as you can see, result is 10. Therefore, the output of the following pseudocode is 10, which is option B. Now moving to the second question. So in this question, what will be the output when the following program is executed? So in this program also, we have a three line pseudocode and in the first line, we have a variable which is Y and having value 2. And in the next line, we have a variable Z having value 4. Then in the third line, we will have to display an expression which is Y or Z and Z or Y. So here OR and AND are the logical operators. So we can write this expression like this. Now in this expression, there are two parts. First of all, Y or Z will be solved and then Z or Y will be solved. And at the end, we will perform the AND operation. So if we solve Y or Z, so the expression will become 2 or 4. Now in case of logical OR operator, if any of the operand is non-zero, then the output will be 1. So for this expression y or z we will get 1. Similarly for the second expression we will also get 1 because the expression is z or y and this will become 4 or 2. So the output of this expression will also be 1. Now if we put the value of both these expression then the expression will become 1 and 1. So as you know in case of AND operator if both the operands are 1 then output will also be 1. So the output of this pseudocode is 1 which is option C. Now moving to the third question. So the question is how many iteration will be the following pseudocode make to find the key with value 37. So you are given a pseudocode and in this pseudocode you are given an array and after this array you are given a for loop. Now if you observe this for loop so you can clearly see we have an element ELE which is starting from 0 and this loop will iterate from value 0 to value 4 which means it will cover all the indexes of the given array and inside this for loop we have a condition if array of ELE equals to key which means if any of the element of array matches with the key element then we will have to display found and that's it. So now you might have understood that the given algorithm is nothing but a linear search algorithm in which we simply search for an element in an array. Now for example I have this array with the given values which are given in this pseudocode and I have to find element which is key having value 37. Now for finding this element key what I will do is first of all I will go to the 0th index of this array and I will compare the element at the 0th index with the value key and similarly if both of them does not match so I will move forward and I will compare the value at the index 1 with the key. Now similarly I will follow this process till I find both the element equal. Now as you can see on the third index we have the element 37 and this will match with the value key. So by looking at this process you can say we will have to compare four elements to find the key element in an array. So that is why the given for loop will iterate four times and therefore our answer is four which is A option. Now moving to the fourth question. So in this question you are given a pseudocode and you will have to find the outcome of this pseudocode. So as you can see this is a 5 line pseudocode and in the first line we have a variable number with value 10 and after this we have a for loop starting from second line and ending at fourth line and in this for loop we have a variable index and this for loop will iterate from 0 to 5 
which means 0 to index less than equals to 5. So I have taken two variables number and index with their initial values. Now once the control moves to this for loop, so first of all as we can see our value of index is 0 and the value of number is 10. Now when we go inside this for loop, so in the third line the expression is number equals to number into index. So this operation will be performed. Now this statement will become number equals to 10 into 0 and this will result into 0. So the value of number will now become 0 and after this the value of index will become 1 because this loop is iterating from 0 to 5. So after this again third line will be executed and again the expression will become number equals to 0 into 1. Now if we multiply any number with 0, so we will again get 0. So before solving this code completely, we can directly say that the value of number after the execution of this for loop will be 0. So our output is 0.0, .0 which is C option. Now moving to the last question of this video. So what will be the outcome of the following pseudocode? So there is a pseudocode of 10 lines given. And with this pseudocode, there is a line given which is assume that the user has entered 90 as the value of variable mark, which means the value of variable mark will be 90. So in the first line, we have a variable mark. So let's take a variable mark first. So I have taken a variable mark having value 90. Now after this, in the second line, there is a while loop having condition mark greater than equals to 0. So as you can see, our mark has value 90, which is greater than equals to 0. So this condition is true. Therefore, we will move to the third line, which is an if condition. Now the if condition is if mark greater than 100. So as you can see, our mark value is 90 and the condition will become 90 greater than 100, which is false. So we will move to the else block in the sixth line. And after this, the seventh line will be executed, which is display valid mark. So first of all, valid mark will be displayed on the screen. And after this, we also have a variable flag, which will have a value 1. And after this, once again, we will check the condition mark greater than equals to 0. So again, mark is 90, which is greater than 0. So we will again move to the third line. And once again, we will check the same condition mark greater than 100. So this time also this if will return false. So because of this, we will again move to the else block. And in the else block, first of all, display valid mark will be executed. And because of this, valid mark will be displayed again on the screen. And after this, flag equals to 1. So again, the value of flag will become 1. Now, as you can see, in the last iteration also, we were displaying valid mark. And in this iteration also, we are displaying valid mark. So this is happening again and again because we do not have any condition that increment mark or decrement mark. So because of that, this while loop will iterate infinite number of times. So we can say our answer is valid mark will be displayed infinitely, which is C option. So I hope all the explanations were clear, but still, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.